In 2024, there's going to be a huge change to the world handicapping system, and I want to explain how it's going to affect you and your handicap. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. Since its introduction a few years ago, the World Handicap System is now used in 125 countries. Just like the rules of golf, the rules of handicapping are reviewed every four years, and in 2024 there's going to be some massive changes to the WHS. And these can be things like a four-ball bettable score can count towards your handicap now. You can record a score on a par three course. If you miss a hole out, it will put in an expected score for you for that hole based on your handicap and the course rating. So I want to explain to you now these seven major changes. To bring Great Britain and Ireland in line with the rest of the WHS jurisdictions, course rating minus par is something that's coming in in 2024. So that's the difference between the course rating and the par of the course depending on which tee you're playing off. So if the par is lower than the course rating, you're going to get more shots and vice versa. So players are going to now play to par rather than the course rating. So this is going to mean that you're probably going to get more shots on more difficult courses than you do at the moment. It's also going to make it easier to calculate mixed gender matches as well. So course rating, of course, is the difficulty of a course for a scratch golfer. Now, there is a formula to work this out, but let's keep it really simple. If the course rating is 72 and the par is 71, you're going to get one extra shot. If it's the other way around, you're going to lose a shot. OK, you with me? Now, this next one's a biggie. It's expected score if you don't play a hole. So this is going to change the way that a nine hole score is upscaled to 18 holes and also for what's going to happen if you miss a hole out. So this is meant to give you a better prediction of what you would score on there rather than just a net double bogey. And it's based on your handicap index and the difficulty of the course. If you do start a hole and you don't finish it though, that doesn't count and that's still a net double bogey. But this is meant to be a better way of giving you a better prediction of what you would score regardless of whether you played that course before or not. From 2024, if you play in a four ball better ball comp, that score can count towards your handicap and that's regardless whether it's stroke play or stable foot. But there is some criteria you've got to adhere to. Firstly, you must have scored on a minimum of nine holes. Secondly, as a pair, you must have scored a minimum of 42 points in stable foot or 600 in stroke play. And third, your individual score when it's upscaled must be at least 36 points. If that's the case, that's going to count towards your handicap. Currently, to play on a course to use that for your handicap, that course must be a minimum of 18 holes and 3,000 yards, or 9 holes and 1,500 yards. Well, from 2024, that's being halved. So this is going to open up golf to more par 3 courses, academy courses. This should make golf more accessible to a lot of people, which could be a great transition from beginners, you know, progressing on little academy courses, par 3 courses, and getting more into golf. So when they join a golf club, you know, they're already going to have a handicap. So I think this is a really good move. People are going to be able to record their scores on much shorter courses from 2024. A new clause is being added to the handicap rules as well for if you play on a course that's got a non-standard number of holes, maybe you play on a course that's got 12 holes or 14 holes, and that can now count towards your handicap. In England, Ireland and Wales, handicaps are going to be unrounded from 2024. So at the moment you get an exact score to a decimal, and then these are the numbers that you can see on the boards outside golf clubhouses. Well that's going to stop, you're going to get an exact number now which is meant to be more reflective so it won't get rounded up and it won't get rounded down. Have you ever played on a course where, say, off the back tee, the hole plays as a par four, but off a further forward tee, it plays as a par three? That's just really confusing, isn't it? And it looks really odd on the scorecard. So from 2024, clubs are going to get the power to standardise their par on a hole, regardless of which tee set you're playing off for each gender. I think that's pretty sensible. So the World Handicap System has been with us a little while now. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, so please get in the comments below. Do you love it or do you loathe it? I'm a fan and I think it's a much better representation of your ability as a golfer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends about The Golf Show. Check out our back catalogue. There's over 150 episodes on the channel and give us a subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.